Thank you, Ali Tutel Balao. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here on Palau Rave Radio again this morning and to talk about something that really, truly is fantastic, Operation Christmas Drop. As was mentioned, this is the longest-running exercise that the U.S. does anywhere in the world. Uh, for over 60 years, uh, planes from the U.S. Air Force have come to the Pacific and uh, dropped bundles of joy uh, to people in the islands. And this year, we're also doing it uh, with the government of Japan. So people in Palau this week may have seen not just U.S. planes, but Japanese planes as well. So it's a fantastic opportunity, particularly this year, which has been tough, to bring a little bit of happiness, a little bit of the holiday spirit, some bundles of joy uh, to the people of Palau. Can you tell us, uh, we did the story about this uh, operation Christmas trap, and it was supposed to be like, today will be the last day. Can you uh, tell us more about it? Sure, of course, and, and thank you. And that's a big reason why I'm on the radio today, uh, to let people know in Palau that today's the last day. Uh, it's gone on all week. Uh, we've been able to have drops in all of Palau, all the way from Kaiangal in the north to the southwest islands at the very bottom uh, of Palau. And today is the last day, and with your permission, I want to let people know where and when, if that is, okay. is acceptable. Okay, you can do it. Thank you. Um, so people, uh, people of Palau, I really, really do hope you get a chance to see the uh, final day of Operation Christmas Drop. And here are the times. Here in uh, Karor, we're going to be lucky to have two drops, so the grand finale of Operation Christmas Drop. The first one is going to be at 12.20. Again, 12.20 just by the seaplane ramp over in Mayunes. Uh, that's the first drop. And then there's going to be a second drop, especially for Karor, at 12.50, so half an hour later. Again, same place, just off the sea ramp there in Mayunes. And at that final drop, it's not going to be one plane. I think we're going to have three planes fly in formation uh, to drop off those bundles of joys. And for the other parts of Palau today, in Angar, it's at 12 noon at the airstrip that we recently renovated. And in Peleliu, it's at 12.05. And in Kaiangle, at 1.10. So again, Karor today, 12.20, 12.50 at Mayunes. In Angar, at 12 o'clock at the airstrip. In Peleliu, at 12.05. And in Kaiangle, at 1.10. Thank you very much, uh, Ambassador Nilen. Uh, you know, some people have been asking who are responsible uh, for this uh, Christmas trap uh, uh, here in Koror, uh, who are supposed to distribute it to uh, the people. Yeah, very good question. And, and truly, it's a partnership. Uh, we've been working closely uh, with the government here in Palau, and particularly the states. Um, and I want to thank everyone and the, the, the ministries, uh, the rangers, the volunteers, everyone who's helped uh, coordinate and get the deliveries here. Um, every state is doing it uh, their own way, slightly differently. Um, mm -hmm. Every state is organizing a distribution uh, to the people of their state. I was lucky enough to be with the uh, governor of Kyangal just a few days ago, and I know that they had do a uh, lucky number. Uh, people go and pick a number and, and then get to pick what they want from the drop. So I thought that was a great way to do it. Here in uh, Karur, I understand talking to the governor's office that the governor's office will be organizing distribution. I think there probably will be multiple opportunities uh, organized by the uh, state of Karur. I know that they uh, um, uh, saved all of the bundles. No one has gotten anything yet, so don't worry if you haven't got anything yet. Uh, they're all being uh, stored by the uh, state government here in Karor, and they will be distributed. I think uh, they're planning a few sites. Um, I think one will be uh, possibly, if we are lucky enough to organize again, the uh, Christmas fair down at uh, uh, Long Island, Long Beach. And then also I think they're going to be distributing from the state offices. Uh, so you haven't missed out. Um, I urge any organization or families in need uh, that, that want to benefit from uh, Operation Christmas Drop uh, to reach out either to us at the embassy or more directly uh, to, uh, to the state of Karor. And the same for all of the states. 
reach out to your, your state offices, your governors. Everyone will be uh, distributing, and no one has missed out yet. Mm -hmm. uh, the planes have dropped the bundles of joy. Uh, the boxes have made it safely. Today's the last day, and very soon, um, as it is the holiday time, we'll, uh, we'll be distributing these gifts to everyone here in Palau. Thank you, Ambassador. There was a story in uh, one of the local newspaper that uh, there are over uh, 70,000 pounds of goods that are part of this uh, operation uh, Christmas drop. Uh, how are these collected, or, or how do they get it? Uh, sure, I'm happy to, happy to talk about that a little bit. This is a huge job. Uh, it's coordinated by volunteers in, in Guam, so a shout-out to everyone in Guam. Uh, it's been a long-standing public-private partnership uh, we've worked with Rotary International. We've worked with a number of other uh, clubs and organizations. And it's a mix of goods that are provided, um, from food, uh, rice, uh, basic food, uh, to coloring books for the kids, to mm. pens and pencils and equipment and uh, paper for schools, uh, to clothes. Um, it's all donated. And this is a voluntary exercise. And our military are able to do it because it's also good practice. Worst case, if there ever was a typhoon um, and we needed to drop uh, humanitarian assistance or help uh, mm. to islands, particularly the outer islands, uh, the only way we can, we can do that is to practice. And this allows us to both practice and bring some happiness uh, at the mm. same time. So it's, it's a huge enterprise. Lots of people uh, are part of it. And I also want to make a, a point this year was a little different. You know, everyone's concerned about COVID. So we took extraordinarily uh, strong measures to ensure that we, we minimize the risk. So this year is different. Um, the operation took longer to prepare uh, so that uh, they could fumigate the boxes, mm -hmm. so that they could keep them aside for a period of time, sort of you want to say, quarantine those boxes. <laughs> um, and so it, we are very, very, very aware of, of, of that. And particularly because it's been such a tough year, we're so happy that we can provide, as you said, so much uh, to Palau. Thank you very much, Ambassador, for your continued support uh, with the U.S. giving us all the support, continued support in the past till today. And uh, are there any uh, good uh, big news in the future about uh, any help coming from the U.S.? Well, I think obviously um, what I'm focused on and I know the government is focused on and the president-elect and his team is the issue of the vaccines. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we've had a really, really good meeting yesterday uh, between our government, uh, government here and the president-elect's team. So we are working very hard uh, to make sure that we can get vaccines to Palau as quickly and as safely as we can. Uh, I think people know that the first vaccines um, are being approved in the U.S. The very first vaccines are already being administered in another country, in the United Kingdom, mm -hmm. in, in England. And we hope to start that very soon, perhaps as early as this week or next week in the United States. Wow. So in Palau, I'm optimistic that we will be able to help again uh, the people of Palau early next year um, with the uh, vaccines. Uh, I think that would be uh, something that uh, again shows it, the friendship. Um, it's the right thing to do. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and we want to help Palau. Um, Palau should be congratulated for being one of the very, very few countries that have been able to uh, stay free of COVID. Um, and we will do everything we can to, to bring the vaccines here as quickly as we can. Thank you very much, uh, Ambassador, for the good news uh, to the people of Palau. And uh, I would like to thank you for coming to the Palau Wave uh, Radio this morning. And uh, if you have anything that you want to say to our listeners before we end this program, you may use this time. Perhaps uh, just to wish everyone a, a very happy holiday, however you celebrate it. Uh, and let's hope that uh, 2021 is a peaceful year uh, without COVID <laughs> and that everyone uh, can get back uh, to a little bit more of a normal life. Because I know even in, in Palau, even without uh, the pandemic, it has affected people. Uh, it's tough times. Um, it has been an unprecedented year. Um, that being said, it's been a wonderful time for us to be here in Palau. This is the first Christmas I'll be celebrating in Palau, and I look forward to doing that. 
and it may not be a white Christmas here in in the islands, <laughs> but I can tell from all the lights that are up around Karora, uh, it will be a tropical one. So I wish everyone, uh, all of you listeners to Palau Wave Radio, a very, very happy holidays and, and happy new year.